Hello everybody. I have three outgoing pocket letters that I wanted to share today. The first one is for the Washi Love Affair 3. Um, swap through the Pocket Letter Pals Network that I am actually hosting or that I did host. And I tried to use more Washi in terms of, you know, decorating the pocket letter, but I don't know if I used enough, but I, I did, you know, I'll show the um, the goodies that I did include. So this one is the washi and two kinds in the back. And these are tags that I made. The stamp didn't come out great, but um, I think it looks, actually I think it looks okay, especially because, you know, it kind of has a vintagey look. Um, this one does not have washi. And this... And then this one I made, I just cut, I cut out an A, and then I just put washi on it, and then cut around it again. And washi. This one I thought was kind of cute that I did that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the background is washi. And in the back I have some goodies. Um, this is the last of my three mason jars tags. And I covered them all with some of the... Uh, packing tape so that it could be used again and then some bookmarks some blingy shiny stuff that might match um, and I have actually some other washi samples uh, that I did not that doesn't fit in here that I'm going to include also the next one is a angel's mission um, pocket litter that some of us were sending to a woman named Karen who recently experienced a loss so we're sending um, lots of hearts and love to her. Um, when I first started this, I didn't really like the way it was turning out. Um, and I almost started thinking about starting again, but I kind of moved some stuff around and, um, yeah, I think I like it now. Um, but I hope she does too. It was, it was made with love. So, um, I had these sticker sheets of these like cherry blossoms and flowers and things like that. So I just put some pearl, um, it's like a string, but I just cut them each off. And then this I stamped on. These all, all these papers came from the same um, paper pad. And these are the new thickers. I think they're Dear Lizzie that I just got. Um, thickers that I just got that I thought were cute. And these are different washies that I have. And then I put a little chipboard heart with some angel wings. And these are more stickers I put on there obviously <laughs> and have to include a mason jar punch so I did that yeah so originally I figured out originally I had this here and I think it was too close to the silver right here so I, I didn't like it I felt like it was too strong or too much of silver but when I moved it here and actually I backed it on a different piece of cardstock I liked it a lot better so that's just something random I kind of wanted to share um, I think some of this right here this silver and the um, darker silver or gray I guess um, made it more balanced so that's why yeah I'm happy with it now and some goodies for her um, I got all of these things in other pocket letters um, but um, there was a few that this one was from Candace and she had sent love hello and my name um, that I can use as tags and I just thought it was so beautiful I wanted to share one with Karen and this heart was sent to me and this one I, I made these a while ago but um, they're just shaker cards that I used and I fused the sides I'm sorry for my bandy I fused the sides and I put some liquid pearls on the outside and I'm still not obviously that great with the li uh, liquid pearls but I thought since it was a heart and I had made them to fit perfectly in the pocket letters so I put that in the back and this was a brad that I've had for a long time with the some bling on it and I had one left and I was saving it and this is the perfect um, pocket letter to send it in and this one I also received through um, a pal in a pocket letter but yeah, I just, I feel really good about passing things along, um, 
specifically when they're for a certain theme and in this case especially because um you know i think hopefully this lot sending lots of love will let her at least know that there are people out there thinking of her the last pocket letter that I have to share is for a personal swap, and I have not put in the goodies yet, um, but this is Hello Kitty theme, as you can see, and I feel like, actually for all three of the pocket letters, I feel like kind of like my style of pocket letter making has kind of changed, but I think it's actually just that I'm, I'm just, you know, like before I felt like every single thing had to match 100%, and it's not that I don't want it to match, but I feel like sometimes when I'm just putting things together like like I would never have put um what was it that I was thinking like I don't think personally I don't think that this the pink doily and this pink cardstock like match hues in terms of you know they're pink but not you know this one's a little more corally and I don't think I would have put it together before but when I look at it from just kind of like from a little bit further out I think it looks cute and I think I'm having fun because I'm not as not stressed out but I don't have to think I don't have to overthink every single thing when I'm making this pop the po this pocket letter and I think also with some project life stuff I've been doing and I think what really kind of made me be more committed to just putting things down and see how they work and if they don't to fix them is honestly because I started scrapbooking and I feel like even with that I'm I can just you know, of course, I still want to play with things and see how they go, but I, I don't know. It feels really freeing, and I feel like it's, for me, it feels more creative and um, and fun for me. So, anyways, okay, with that said, <laughs> I found this Hello Kitty paper at um, Michael's recently, so I was happy I knew this um, swap was coming up. And then I made a little shaker card with her initials. This is a personal swap. And... This was, okay, this was, um, I don't know if any of you have seen those, the sack of stickers that uh, Samuel used to have. So this was actually the front packaging. And these were all the stickers that were in there. And I think I've used them all, or I might have a few left. Um, but I say the packaging, and I thought this was really cute because I just put a piece of um, acetate. I think it's Weird Memory Keepers acetate paper. And I just put it behind there, and I put on um, a glitter black glitter alpha stickers high and I thought that was really cute and then this was actually the top uh, you know on top of here and I cut these out and I just kind of made them look kind of like stickers or banners and there wasn't enough for me to cut like this but I did that and some layering and these are two tags that I made and this was um, made from a Hello Kitty ribbon that I received in a pocket letter, a Hello Kitty pocket letter. And this one, I know Hello Kitty is normally white, but I made her pink so that she can stand out behind the, in front of the Hello Kitty paper. And I put two Hello Kitty washi tape samples here. So you can just take it out. So she can just take it out. And it looks like that. Before I'd made some that filled the whole pocket. And yeah, a little doily. I cut this this Hello Kitty out of a stationary paper, and this was a tag that I received. And so I just made a little banner, a little banner, Hello Kitty banner. I'm sorry, I was off screen. A little Hello Kitty banner paper clip. Um, I was trying to find ways to put some bling on it or something, but you know the paper I use it probably wasn't the best decision. I used um stationary paper so it's really thin so I tried putting some it wasn't liquid pulse I tried putting something a little glossy accents and it just I you know I knew it was gonna curl up so I didn't want to, to do that so um but I thought about it but I didn't I, maybe maybe I can add some maybe I can add some bling here but then then I feel like it's not balanced because all the bling is down here anyways just my crazy thought process um but this was the Hello Kitty personal swap pocket letter that I made that I'm going to be sending out today. And yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. And 
I'm still loving pocket letters and I still strongly believe that it's really, really, really inspiring me to do other things too, other projects too. So hope everyone's having as much fun as I am and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody. I need to apologize. I'm probably in bad lighting, but I have two pocket letters that are going to be going out in the mail and I wanted to make sure I film them before they go out. Um, one of them is a prayer theme through the pocket letter pals. So I actually made two that were quite similar um, because I had a couple partners. So for these, sorry for my bad nails, um, for these, these three, I had printed at Office Max on very, like a really thick cardstock. So I printed those and put them on some color paper, a uh, card, color paper, printed, oh gosh, it's late, on some colored paper, yes. Um, and then I just drew in all these stitch marks, fake stitch marks. And then this is a heart punch that um, my friend Kat sent me. And then I put the love punch out. And it's just some flowers. And then this felt, felt cross I actually um, made with some felt and thread and a little bit of stuffing. So then I made a banner with her name. And then again, the craft heart. And then these little hearts with the little sequence in the middle. And then the pretend envelope because my letter is going to be in the back. And this bow that is made out of like lace trim. Um, and I haven't completely filled out all of the goodies yet. But I think most of them are here. Then this is the Fabulous Feelings. Wow, the lighting is really bad. Okay, so um, this, uh, most of the paper is from a cardstock that I got. And this one I was, um, I someone sent me these post-its and they're so cute. And um, I so wanted to hoard them all, but I did part with some of them because I think... Um, my partners will like them and then these little page flags right here and then I just made a little banner type um, with some ribbon and then some washi and a quote and then these little punch outs um, again that my friend Kat had sent me and then meow <laughs> And then the, um, just four for Lynn, so it's four. And just these little tags I had made. And then some embellishments I had. And this cat right here, I had actually just drawn on some black cardstock and cut out. And then drew in little paws on her face. And then put around the neck like a collar. The power of purr. Put a little heart on the cat. Have not named the cat yet, so maybe the recipient. Um, maybe Lynn can name the kitty cat. So thanks for watching. Hope everyone's having a crafty, arty day. And see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.